Hello, welcome to episode 6. Carrying rapidly on from episode 5. I haven't sold stuff yet. I'm going to pause it in a minute. <laughs> pause the recording and sell stuff. But I wanted to show you this. Because so I just want to talk to old Luther. And as always, I'm looking for demolitionist stuff. And he had this ring. Look at that. Plus 2 to... All right. I mean, he's got that as well, which is like plus 2 to canister bomb that I don't use. He's got this ring. Plus 7% to all damage, which all damage buff is decent. 4% spirit, which is better than... I'm looking at my um, the ring on the right over there, the Demolitionist Silver Band, which has got plus 2 to flashbang, which I don't use. Stun, stun jacks I do use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy that, even though that's 6,000 something. I mean, I've got 90. I'm all right. So I'm going to buy that. I'm going to put that on. And I'm going to take the ectoplasm off that, swap it over. That's giving me plus two to stun jacks. So what that's done is it's whacked stun jacks up to five, which is looking good. Yeah, so that's a one pointer that's up to five. That's now, as far as I can tell, a one pointer that's up to five. So that is good. This is this is looking awesome. Right, I'll just go and grab me uh, ectoplasm back and switch rings. Keep the add on. Yeah. Which one are we going to put it on? Which is the best one? Actually, I'll probably keep that for a while, I'd have thought. Stick it on there. Why not? Okay. Yeah, he's got he's got some dynamite quest I can't be bothered doing at the moment. Right, I sold a bunch of stuff and I've swapped. Oh, that was a bit of an upgrade. It's got decent energy regen on it. The other one didn't. I, I did actually go for them. I got rid of the. Well, no, those are the ones that I'm. Plus ten percent to all damage was decent, but the poison and acid resistance on that I had zero. I've now got fifty some on, so that wasn't too bad. I think I'll keep them on for a bit. Um, they might help out. Piercing's still bad. I could do with a component to um... yeah. You have to buy it, don't you? It's like um... I do the best I can with what I've got. let's have a look what we got going on here. But I want pierce resistance. So you've got that's a shield thing in there. Okay, resilient plating. Fifteen percent pierce resistance. Chest and shoulder armor. Mm, maybe. I think I'll wait. I might get something with pierce resistance on it. Not that bothered. I haven't died yet, actually. I don't know if I'm playing four hours. Greatest monster, Darius, total death is zero. Damage dealt, yeah, not great, but things are dying. I've got to talk to what's his face, haven't I? Oh, I'm going to go and. Um... Come, friend. Right to business. Nobody... Yeah, what it's worth doing as soon as you kill Krieg, ah, go in here, get some, get some XP, and start earning rep with uh, whoever. It's worth a look actually, because the, some of these. Is it Saleil? It's the one. Saleil, I think, is a fire damage one. I'm not sure. Can't remember. But yeah, you've got to remember to nip back up here and get this thing. We don't have to. The clue is in this guy here who obviously is wielding two shields. And the one you can. There it is. It's a level 50 thing. It's a mace, only it looks like a shield. There you go. Right. Grab that stuff. Again, it's uh, it's like a hidden area, but it does actually just about show up on the map ish when you get there. Right, let's talk to this character here. What's this place? I have no idea. I'll take on your challenge. Right, I think Saleil's possibly the fire damage one. Could be right. Fire and vitality. Uh, that's a bit rubbish, isn't it? Um, blueprint relic in John. Uh, oh yeah, he's got some fire stuff here. Fire and ether. Hmm. It's all fire and vitality and oh, plus four to but oh, it's a two-handed axe. Soil storm five plus two to grenado. Well, that's just fire and lightning. I mean, at a push, if you didn't have anything better, you could just buy two of them to buff your fire and lightning when you get to level 90. 
fire and lightning on that. Oh look, stun jacks and storm callers packed. Physical. That's actually all right. That's okay. All right, we go with Soleil, I reckon. What's up here? That's no good. Well, that's yeah, that's a really good item, but not for. This one to all skills and demolitionist. Oh, this is Grenado though, specifically Grenado and it's vitality damage conversion. Okay, don't worry about that. Burned out. <laughs> Why is it adding? It's just it's just adding vitality damage, but vitality decay to Blackwater cocktail. Why? I mean, there's a you know you could do a build like that, but. Yeah. Right, okay. Let's go and grab all this stuff. All these books to read. Get one from there, one from here. Covenant of the What's It. This is, if you're using a Merit and you're doing XP pop, XP gear, law note thing, you come straight in here and pick all these up. And you go up a whole load of levels straight away. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten that one. Visions of Thing. And then I think this is the web is spun or some nonsense. Hopefully there's a thing in here to break and get some stuff out. Yeah, there it is. Look, uh, no, not that. I don't mean that. I mean this. Get some gear. Anything good? Blighted boots. Uh, oh, elemental damage. Insight. Okay. But no, right, so yeah, I mean, they're all got quite a lot of XP on those things. For when you're level one anyway. And then you go up a few levels. Right. I don't think these boys have got any f I could be wrong, I don't think so. Fire flame to oh, okay, hang on. Fire lightning damn it. <gasps> Three to wind devil. Okay. So that's all right. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, flame touch primal bond. Oh, it's pets. Okay. Uh, this mail's easier, actually. Easier to farm the items that you need. Oh, let's just be bismail. I don't care. Oh, I've got to do the thing, haven't I? <laughs> Getting a little bit ahead of myself. Right. That skill's not ready. Which one is it? It's you, the isn't it? Let's get this over with. Very good. Right, so I've survived the Eldritch Trials. I'll now go and talk to... I could hear the uh. Yeah, yeah, whatever. See now unlike Kaimans and Death's Vigil, if you choose one of these, the others don't go hostile. You just earn rep a bit quicker with the one you choose. But ultimately by the time you get to the end of You've been quite a sight, my dear. I'll work with you, I don't care. Do. I've got no pride. What must I do? I'll speak to what's his face. There you, you go. I'll get on it. I'm going to do a bit in here actually. I might get a Corvan thing that converts stuff to elemental damage. Plus, it's just a change of scenery. And there's no real, you, don't, you know, there's no, there's no rule about when to come in here. It's when you feel like it. And it's quite. I mean, some of these things are quite difficult. Some of the creatures in here so it's a good test because if you come in here and all of a sudden you think oh dear oh dear i'm doing really badly maybe your build's not as good as you thought it was see they're quite tough I say flame torrent has reached rank four. That went up quite quickly, didn't it?
these scarabs have got a chance to drop a shield scarab shell kind of shield with a load of elemental damage on it but it's more of an inquisitor thing from what I can remember from last time I saw one And you get different different stuff dropping in this area every now and again. I'll go and try and kill this beetle boss in here, he can be a bit of a pain. I think there's a yeah, there's a couple of law notes. Watch them will spring out of the ground when I go to read that. There you go. This isn't the beetle boss I'm talking about, he's in that cave over there. Come on, drop your scarab shell. Right. Grab that, read that. Fire. Elemental damage. Right, where's it gone? Here we go. Oh, this could be fun. They just keep coming out of the ground there behind me, let's see. Kill them and all these maggots come out. It's all XP, isn't it? Maggots, beetles, zombies. Right, he's down, I reckon. Yeah, see where that dead button there he is. There's the boss. Have some of that you. Again, kite him around, get the wind devils on him. Stay away from wherever he's chucking at you. He's almost dead. There we go. Look at all these dead maggots. What a way to earn a living. There it is. Oh, that's a different one. I think that... I don't think that's the ether one, is it? Yeah, it is. Not... I don't mean ether, I mean elemental. No, that's a different... Oh, yeah, hang on, no. Aura of Century. Yeah, that's if you... If you did an Inquisitor and an Arcanist. Look at all that. Aura of Century, Mavens. Elemental damage. The Mavens, Sphere of Protection. That's pretty good. Physical resistance thing. Yeah. I've never done that. I mean, fire and cold and lightning does also, yeah. It's, that's pretty good. I don't know. Maybe I'll do something with one of those shields one day. Like monster and frequency. Like doing stuff with them. Yeah, beetle, beetle. Maybe we're jumping out of the ground behind me. Trick. Yeah. Scarab shell. Oh, that's the other one. That's the fit. Yeah, that's the bleed one. There you go. Devouring swarm. Blade spirit. Maybe that would be interesting to do something with. I don't know. I don't know whether. See, they look the same, don't they? But they, they look this. They look exactly the same, but they're a totally different thing. There's some oh look it's just the whole oh look we've surprised you we've jumped out of the ground frying tonight
And that's all those maggots, they just die instantly, right? Let's get out of here. There's a limit to the number of beetles and maggots I can kill at any given gaming session. And it's kind of relaxing. Hang on, let's pick that up. Oh, what? I didn't even... Oh, it's... I don't even see that stuff drop. Impassable of thorns. What's that then? Physical damage. Yeah, that's alright. So you could use that on a retaliation build. But it's only got that retaliation stuff on it because it's of thorns. So it wouldn't normally have retail damage on it. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's see if I can at least get to the Temple of Osir Rift and get a shrine and a Leovinus ring. Not going to use the Leovinus ring, but it's always worth a look. Here's my next rift. I don't want that one. I just want to keep going pretty much straight on up here without getting lost in a tangle of. <laughs> Death Vigil fighting everybody. Is it? I think it is. Oh, Cult of Bismuth. Alright. Yeah, they're my, my Bismuth boys. I thought there was a note up here somewhere. Is it up here? Maybe not. Oh, maybe it's over here. Perhaps not. Okay, I was wrong about that. All these funny little bits of broken building look the same. I'm sure there's one like this around here somewhere with a law note on it. Maybe it's up here. No. Ooh, more beetles surprising me by jumping out of the ground. I can pretty much spam everything now. My energies. Look how fast it's coming back. I can go back to spamming Blackwater Cocktail and not worry about it. It's getting good now. This, I'm, yeah, I'm just um, relaxing and enjoying the sheer spectacle of melting everything. Oh, that's probably. Oh, okay. This should be a good test. I'll clear all these floating dead people out of the way first, and then I'll do that totem. Right, let's get me Wind Devil team up. There's two of them. Where's the third one? Come on, get the third one up. Right, let's do this. Get that lot go. Spam everything. Okay. There's a boss. Hero, rather. He's down. Look at all that stuff. Yeah, that was alright. That got me a bunch of XP. Blueprint Relic Rampage. Oh, the time I spent trying to get that on that pet build. Oh, look at that. Lightning Elemental. See if I was actually hitting things instead of just casting, I'd maybe use that. Prismatic. No, shoot. Almost for Epic Amulet. Plus one to all. Oh, it's physical physique. Hmm. Plus one to all skills in demolition. I don't know, maybe. So what you got to do, you got to look at, um, right, so that's doing a little bit of fire damage, 11%, 13%, whatever. 
Blackwater Cocktail. So if you if you swap that over, look at that. That plus one to all skills. Because it's don't forget it's doing flame, it's doing all of them. Flame touched a lot. Weapon damage, so I don't really care about wind devils. I'm I'm having that. So that's just bumped everything up. So if you think about it, it's doing it's plus one to that, plus one to that, those two. So they've both doubled. Plus one to flame touch. So that's got a point in it, but that's gone one over. It's now 140. Yeah, yeah, 111. Yeah, that was, that was worth doing. Even though the damage type on it isn't what I'm doing, that plus one to all skills. Massive. Well worth having. Melt those idiots, right? I mean, you all... you're just trying to be clever, aren't you, zombies? You're just coming out of the ground. Don't look at me. I just surprised you. I came out of the ground. Yeah. Where's the Temple of Osir Rift? Oh, they love it, don't they? Look at them go. Come on then. 28. Right. Am I safe? Ah. Physique and what was I doing? <laughs> Who knows what? Oh yeah, I maxed that out. So I might. What does that do? Physical, physical, pierce, internal trauma. I don't care about that. I'm not going to waste any points on that. I want to get to... Well, I want to get to that now. 14 points. Shaman. Everything's groovy with Shaman. I don't really care about that yet. I could put one point in that just to make... Why not? There you go. And then... Right, so I've got Mogs. Where is it? Turn that on. Okay. Oh, there's a thing. Go away, bugs. Click on that. Fire maggots. Look at those bad boys. I've got my special friends. Everything's dead. Kick that. Right, Temple of OC Rift coming up. There it is. I'm just going to run to it. Because these boys are fighting them. Look at them go. Right, so we grab Temple of OC Rift. And then we... Come on, Wind Devils, you've got to run faster than that. You've got to keep up. Right, so if you want the shrine, you can see it on the map. Well, just disappearing off the top of the map. It's down here. There it is, and it needs a battered shell, which is easy to get. Briggs, also in flame. Okay, sad boots. No. There's this thing up here, it's always got a few bits and pieces on it. Deathbringer Raymond. Oh, I see. Yeah. Sounds good, but another body. Leovinus's ring. Boom, there it is. Well, that's all right. Where's that gone? There it is, right. Yeah, 15% to all down. Oh, okay. And it's got XP on it and elemental resistance. Now, I could swap that for... That Tempest Moonstone band. 
1.3 energy regen. I don't think I need that. I might actually use this. For now. Right, it's a quest. Oh, that's not the way you want to go. There's a quest that I got from that Soleil guy. What was it? Find the Soleil Aspirants. Oh, what do you want? The Templar... The Aspirants are down here for all that stuff. That's the same thing, isn't it? Right, that's got... What's that got on it? 16 physique. Alright, we'll swap that over to get my health up a little bit. Right, so you can see the aspirants are... Um, I do say it like that, I don't know. Um, here we go. Right, I've been doing this by... Okay. And then in a few minutes, spoiler alert, you go and kill them. I'm going to go back to that now. Oh, actually, I didn't, um... I didn't do anything with my... I leveled up, and I haven't... Oh, did I level up? No, devotion, sorry. Yeah, so I've got two... What's I going to do with this? I've got two... Oh. Who's it to me? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Yeah... No. I had a plan. Trust me, I did have a plan. Do I want to do this? Actually, if I do that and get purple. So I'm going to get that anyway, eventually. Let's just get that. Right. Right, I'm just going to clear the temple. Wow. No, that was not a wow. I just saw scorched ends and got excited. It's the kind of guy I am. Right, I'm going to do this thing. Because this is where the quest items are for that Bismail quest. But I'm not going to cash it in. I'm going to keep collecting them until I've got enough to do the quest in Ultimate and Elite. So what it means is, when you come into Elite and Ultimate, you can do that quest. You can just talk to that Alan guy and just do that quest straight away without having to go and collect anything. That not ready. That's another good test, is how quickly you can take these things out. If you come in here on a build and it's really hard work taking those things out, make some adjustments, my recommendation. She just took them out pretty quickly, so I'm not that bothered. I mean, what I'm doing... Right, I've got Blackwater Cocktail that I'm spamming. Totally spamming that. I, I need to put a destructive constellation thing on that, really. At some point. That's just... I'm just trying to keep three of them up as much as possible. And they've got Flame Torrent on them. So they, they've got a bit of burn damage going on as well as their lightning when they go off. And remember, they scale with player damage bonuses. So all the... Right, all of the, that 347% fire damage and that 329%... See, that's balanced, isn't it? That 329% lightning. It's balanced. I like that. They get all that. So, and all I'm doing is chucking the odd stun jack out. And that's got a bit of a buff from that thing. Plus one projectiles and a bunch of damage over time, electrocute damage on it. So I, I've only got... I'm attacking with that on a cooldown. I'm spamming with that. And I'm keeping those up. And that's it. Just in case you were wondering. <laughs> What's he doing? I don't understand his build. Well, 
I, I try not to overcomplicate things. The game's complicated enough, and there's a whole lot of hidden game mechanics that are in. I'm still. I still take a. Well, I don't really still fully understand all the different types of damage resistance reduction and which ones cancel out which ones and all that. It's pretty much if you've got one, one of each type. What that by that? What I mean is, uh, where was it? Hang on a sec. Okay, what I'm doing. That one says minus thirty percent elemental resistance. So that's it. If they've got, um, what, what it doesn't mean. Okay, if they've got a hundred percent elemental resistance it will take 30 percent this is what i mean correct me if i'm wrong this is how i understand this to work something with a hundred percent elemental resistance and nothing, nothing will have well i don't know some bosses love over that 100 percent elemental resistance if they get hit by that it will knock 30 percent off take it down to 70 percent now if they only started off with 50 percent elemental resistance this is the bit that i still don't fully understand they got 50 percent elemental resistance and that's taken off minus 30 percent it's taken off 30 percent of the 50 percent not 30 percent it's not taking it down to 20 percent it's going to knock if you imagine the 50 percent is an actual number if you imagine it's 50 rather than 50 percent 30 percent of 50 is whatever it is um i don't know 16 or 17 or whatever something like that i don't know i'm rubbish a mass so i think that i think i think that's what that means however this see this here right three reduced targets resistances so if something's got a hundred percent of some kind of resistance it will take three off it to make it 97 if it's got 50 percent it will take three off it to make it to 47. So the flat number is actually a, a figure, it's actually subtracted off the number of resist, you know, you know, okay? So if you, and that doesn't, it's, you can have both happen at the same time. That will happen and that other thing will happen. But if you've got two sources of a flat number, now this is guy, um, uh, what's it in, in the previous thing? put a thing explaining this and I, I, I kind of this is what i thought but i haven't sat down and really spent much time thinking about it if i was taking three off it and then you've got a devotion like this which says 12 reduced targets elemental resistances that's a flat number so that three if you had both of those hit the same target it would only take the 12 off it it wouldn't take the three as well it would take the highest number off and the other one wouldn't happen so if you had both of those things on the go, all right, sometimes something might get hit by one or hit by the other. So you might have, you might be able to fill in a gap, but chances are you'd always be getting the highest one happening and the other one hardly ever happening. I think, possibly. Like I said, it's complex. You don't have to worry about stuff like that. As long as you're aware of it and you don't think, oh, I'm going to get all these different flat numbers and it's going to be brilliant. Once you know that, you don't it doesn't work like that you think well i'll get the flat number from one source and then not bother getting it from anywhere else and then you kind of you're not losing out it's when you think you've got a good idea and you start stacking a bunch of stuff and then you find out years later that it didn't stack anyway it just overwrote what was there corvin cask of attack shamans see if i'm lucky see that blood of the watches that's a quest item that's the thing i can farm and get nine of them so I need three, and you need three in normal, three in elite, three in ultimate. I can get nine. Right, back to what I was waffling on about. Corvin Cask, does it got... Oh, it's got... Uh, the extra one it's added on there. I don't know, Devouring Storm or Savagery, something like that. I don't care, it's no use to me. Pick it up anyway. Corvin Platin, one of these. Oh, that's the one that converts ether to vitality. I think one of them converts something to elemental, which would be what I want, possibly. 
Although if I'm not doing the original damage type, it doesn't make much difference. Bossing is a bit of a laugh. He's a bit tough. The one at the end, the lightning guy. Yeah, and that's slightly worrying that he's a lightning guy, so he's going to be probably resistant. But I don't care. I'll put a rift down before I fight him. Ooh, <laughs> he just fell over. He's like he's pretending to be dead. Right. So far, I do like this. When I saw Elementalist in one, I think my initial reaction was, oh, okay. But what I'll do with any with any build challenge or mastery combo, if I'm thinking, well, I'll do that. I'll go into it. I'll do a little bit of. I'll have a little bit of a think. I'm not necessarily going to go and look up. You know, here's the here's the best build you can do with these masteries, and this is awesome. Because then there's not a lot of point. If you could get that, oh god, what's he doing? If you could get that information from the same place I got it from, there's not a lot of point in me doing this. This is so. You can watch this, and you can think, well, that Muppet's doing okay with that build. He's not done anything particularly spectacular. He didn't have anything in stash. All right, you know, I had a little bit of loot luck. I mean, that thing, that's... Oh, I haven't put a flipping... Oh, God. Put that on that for later. And um, what does that do? No, let's... Uh, stick that. Why not? That'll keep keep the fans happy. Yeah, so, I mean, that was, that was a lucky drop. You could farm them, well, sort of. They're really rare drops, as far as I could tell. Uh, I don't know. You could farm that. See, yeah. I mean, what I'll do is I'll try and get a bunch of monster and frequent items that are fairly easy to farm, and then I can say this is what you can do if you fancy it. But hopefully, mighty call. Oh, okay, it's uh, another vitality one. Hopefully, there's enough going on here that you you get some kind of enjoyment out of it. I mean, it's a bit of a Bit of a firework display, bit of a mess going on with all that blackwater cocktail, but that was kind of the whole point, right? Where'd you? Oh, it's two of these. Okay, come here, you. Have some of that. It's not exactly a spectacular killing machine, but it's doing all right. Where's the flipping... Oh, here it is. This is where you want to go. Oh. See here quite hard then. Well I've got three. But they'll keep dropping. It doesn't matter that you've got three, they'll keep dropping. And I'm I'm just gonna keep collecting until I've got nine. So when I come into Elite I can just cash that quest straight in. Ultimate cash quest straight in. There's a shrine in here as well. Just there it is, you can see it. It's another fight shrine. I know that's not the technical term for it. Though. Infernal. Plus four to black. See, that's what I was talking about in, an, I don't know, about two or three videos back. If you've got a... That infernal... Prefix. That is the thing that's added that plus four to Blackwater cocktail on there. If you add Infernal 
on a one-handed weapon, it would only be plus two. See, there's another one of those blood of the right lookout. I was looking a bit iffy, wasn't it? Compelled race. Is that going to be good? Yeah, look at that. Right, let's have a quick look at that. Blood of the Watchers. So I've got four of them now. Spell woven threads, right. Let's have a look. Where's that thing gone? There it is. Compelled Wraith of Scorching. Fire damage, burn damage with increased duration. Increases energy regen. Plus two to Blackwater Cocktail. Fire damage to Blackwater Cocktail. It does vitality damage to it, but I don't really care about that. And the only reason that pet thing is on there is because it's got a subjugator prefix. But is that better than... No, it's not. Look at that. No, that overseer's thing with that elemental damage on it is really good. I'll just wait till these are all gone before I trigger that shrine. Yeah, I suppose what might happen with this, if you were really lucky, because it, it's automatically got Blackwater Cocktail stuff on it. If that dropped with a Shaman's pre... I don't even know if they would, but say if it dropped with a Shaman's prefix, that'd be great. Right. Um, health and energy, always good. Although not, I mean, physique and spirit would always be better than health and energy, for whatever reason. Do you get more... A variety of stuff that way. There you go. Right, who thinks this thing's gonna kill me? Not this thing, I mean he won't kill me, but three hundred and three thousand health and at level twenty-eight. That's actually not bad. I think later on it's gonna health's gonna be a bit of an issue, but it's the same with any caster thing you're gonna write. They'll spawn behind me as I go up the steps, so there you go. Right, so what I'll do, I'll put a rift down. Paranoia riff. Try not to aggro him just yet. I'm going to read his book first. Right, let's read his book. Okay, get all my... Get three of these up. Stop shooting me. Okay. Try and stay away from him because he's not friendly at all. Look at that guy, look at all that lightning. He's all, he's, oh, he's a down to whatever health. I haven't, I haven't taken a hit yet. Well, not a bad one. Usually you can get smattered in here and it all goes wrong really fast. He's down. Okay, that was all right. I think my running away had a lot to do with that. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to try and face tank him. That would be a big mistake because I think I would have just got completely wrecked. What have we got going on here? Eldritch. Yeah, I uh, see. Vitality, Taskmaster, pet stuff. Okay. Oh yeah, and the if you do a, if you kill him when you got the Saleo quest, there's some item that you have to collect. But I haven't got that quest, so it doesn't matter. Right, that was that. Excellent. Right. Um, 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 um. And actually, let's just do an end of thing summary. So. As of level 28, I've bunged all my attribute points into that. And I have gone Demolitionist. I went Blackwater Cocktail. And I put a point in there. Then I put a few more points in. Then I went Shaman. Then I went straight to Wind Devil. That's a one-pointer, but Gears made it five. That's maxed out. That's awesome. That's a one-pointer that I've just stuck in there. Just to get a bit of health and energy regen on the go. Uh, then I went back to Demolitionist, grab Stun Jacks. That's, yeah, I should have thought of that earlier on, but that's maxed out. That's brilliant. Devotions. I took Tsunami. That's, you can see that's level 5. I put that on 
uh, Wind Devils, it wasn't, it was a bit disappointing. Then I stuck it on Stun Jacks, it was a bit more fun, but then I've put that on Wind Devils, and I think that's more of a laugh. And I've grabbed that, and I'm currently working on that. I could take that red point out. It's the last thing I'll do, and then I'll quit. Promise. I just want to do this now while I'm thinking about it. Then I'll sell a bunch of stuff off camera. Do you don't need to see me selling gear? It's gonna be thrilling, isn't it? Right, let's get a shot of that. So what I can do now is I can finish off Quill. Boom, and free up. Oh yes, there you go. Right. So I can put that on maybe on Stun Jacks. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe on Blackwater Cocktail. I've got a lot of options now. That's a good one. That's excellent. Um that maybe I might use that but that's a good one to get and that's going to give me three green I need green to get down here don't I you have already got ten okay so I do want to get that at some point because that's just going to be funny uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. yeah I'll do right that's it now I'll quit for real thanks for watching hope you enjoyed that episode and I will see you all in the next one